So I'm re-recording this intro. Well, not the intro, I guess, like the the command briefing and the briefing because I accidentally deleted it. And I think this is the right mission. I don't. I hope I haven't missed too much. I don't think I have. Question mark. I left Sims and I went with these Vidian into their ship. This surreal circus of a ship. This file has been left open for one hour. Save and quit. User cancelled. They have me in the red room. Red walls, red lights. I don't know how long it's been. I'm guessing more than two weeks. They've taken out most of the cables, IVs. I'm down to a wire at the back of my neck. There's exercise equipment. I use it. I have to stay strong. People come and talk to me. They all say their name is Al Dua. Even though the faces and the bodies and the sexes keep changing. I've had the strangest dreams. Ken is loud in my sleep, whispering about the end of the world. I wake up choking on blood and caked in ash. Sometimes the nightmares don't stop when my eyes open. A man named Sam Bay <coughs> ran for me and I chased him through the halls into a place where two women screamed his name and died. Mom and wife. He threw me back into wakefulness. I can't remember his face. I don't know what he looks like either. Probably a handsome motherfucker. Sims, the war gods. I spent a long time mourning. Never wanted to sit in the cockpit again. I never wanted to fight. Done with that. Almost broke. Didn't. Won't now. Won't ever. I have a mission. Find out what the hell is happening in my head. Finish my list. Find Sims. End the war one way or the other. And if Ken is real, stop whatever is about to happen. As well as a list of names. Admiral Anita Lopez, GTD Carthage, dead. Sergei Gwillem, guy in effort, dead. The traitor in UEF who sold out Elder Talganeri, dead. Admiral Chewetel Steele, GTD Arteus, dead. Real Admiral Verena Lenonen, GTD Imperius, dead. Secretary General Dimitri Tocqueville, Galactic Terran Assembly, dead. They told me to push this button, right here, when I was ready to leave the room. So, here we go. Mass. Mass, yeah? Secure net. Message received. Center. Al Dewa. Authentic authenticated. Timestamp discrepancy. What is with these timestamp discrepancies? And, like, I just sat there for an hour and said nothing. Just... What? What's going on? Like, what's going on? Anyway, I wrote this message about six hours ago before you decide to leave the Red Room. When you read it, you'll be in your new bunk room, waiting, waking from the dreamscape, ready to fight. This may seem like prophecy. It is not. The future is determined by its past. Know the state of the board and the rules of play, and you know what is yet to come. Predicting the actions of one woman is difficult, but not beyond our Cassandra mainframe or beyond me. This talent for simulation also tells us where and when to strike to alter the course of the war. I know you need answers, why you're here, what we want, above all, what you are. You will learn these things. They are secondary. You must master that what makes you a Fidean. The, capa the capacity for instantaneous unrestrained violence and the ability to wield that capacity instead of being wielded by it. You must be ready to commit atrocities and if necessary, you must nonetheless understand that they are atrocities. There are no rules. Nothing is true. All actions are permitted. First time I read through this, I made a sarcastic remark about the Knights Templar. Or not the Knights Templar, the Assassins from Assassin's Creed. The Templar are the villains, which makes no sense. But moving on. In every moment, you must find the shortest path to our ultimate goal and use every method at your disposal to achieve it. Ruthlessness, mercy, torture, succor, hatred, compassion. These are all tools to be deployed as they are needed. Our objective in the span of eons is the survival of mankind. The Council of Elders has made it clear to us that if the United Earth Federation is lost, that objective will fall, will fail. We intend to learn why. Recent events have left you critically damaged. You may feel our prospects in this war are equally crippled, but we have a new asset. We count among our ranks four of Vasudan pilots stranded in Seoul after they helped destroy the Lucifer. Like a Terran pilot that led the attack, their appreciation of the Shivan threat led them to found the Fidian. 
Ah. Ah. Okay, I didn't catch that the first time through. So I'm guessing the Fidean, these Black Ops Elite pilots, are probably the guys who made it through after they destroyed Lucifer in Free Space 1. Interesting. Keep Keeping the continuity together. Days before the fall of Jupiter, they left Sol on the invitation of Emperor Khonsu II. Once they reached Sheld with Varen, these Fideans completed a pact that began with secret radio transmissions between Alpha Centauri and Earth 30 years ago. The Hammer of Light has come to our aid. Their agents are everywhere and their enemies are ours as well. We have access to fanatically loyal intelligence network built deep within the fabric of the GTBA's military. The critical moment of this war is upon us. The elders have at last authorized us to act without restriction. So the Hammer of Light, um, they, they didn't really, yeah, they're trying to paint the Hammer of Light as the, well, not necessarily the good guys, but they, that they've changed. They still believe the end of the universe is coming, but yeah, I, I gotta be honest, I'm, what missions I've played so far involving them and speaking them, I'm not, I'm not convinced, I think. I think they haven't changed. They just, they've adapted to survive, but ultimately they will fight anyone who's going to fight against the Sheevans because they think the Sheevans should destroy everything. And they did in another universe. Why don't they go there? Your coordinator and fellow operators will prepare you for your first mission. You are no longer Ubuntu. Some would say no longer human. Succeed in this sortie and you will become one of us. al Dewa. Priority communique, personal distribution only. From Thorn. I'm Thorn, Dreamscape info doesn't always stick, so here's a short version. I handle tactical prep for your wing and yays to the Cassandra simulation unit. Don't ask to see Cassandra, it won't happen. We're still hunting the mole inside the Federation that tips Steel off to your meeting. You won't believe who it is. With the Vasudans, we believe the same mole also leaked the details of the attack on the Carthage. We know this mole must be positioned highly, perhaps close to Natibra. I'll keep you updated. It is. You can't even imagine how high it is. I have no new news for you about Captain Lorna Sims, but I know about your list, and it would be my pleasure to help you reach the bottom. Thorn, Thorn's awesome. Kovacs, you're about to become a Fadian operator, and I have to warn you up front, whatever else you might become in this life, you will always be a Fadian operator. It marks you. You've heard the stories, black ops, killers, spies, torturers. They're true, but not complete. The elders made us just as they made Ubuntu, and if the Federation is all they helped humanity to become, well, we're all that they feared we might have to. Faulkner, Fedora, and I will fly with you. If you talk, we'll listen. If you break, we'll pick up the pieces. There are no ranks between operators. Performance is what matters. Bringing you in was a gamble. Report, but what isn't? Prep is underway for our first off together. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really not digging the the religious insanity. That I don't care about the this rationalism is religion. It, it just it kind of irks me. But I I wonder if it's supposed to. God damn you, writers! You did a real good job. In series strike fighter stealth pilots reference operating as opening abstract the in series the latest. The Senate of the Stealth Fighter program initiated by GTI before the isolation produced on eccentric orbit asteroid workshops. The Enseri combines the speed and agility of the fleet pilots of man with next gen weapon systems such as the City Molly Bendium shrapnel weapon and UX accelerator light antimatter mass driver. The Enseri carries. Enseri carries a full stealth suite from low observability hull design to active countermeasures. Only the Charitabis or Seketh Awax or the Terran or a fighter can consistently detect it. In Siri pilots must treat their large, vulnerable ship as the assassin it is, making quick lightning attacks and repairing, retreating to repair and rearm. It serves as a test bed for several experimental technologies now entering broad deployment. You will be authorized to carry two such flight systems. The Cellular Ammunition Pack replenishes one of your primary mounts with a fast load pack for your internal secondary bays. Fire it to reload your secondaries. 
The repair system includes uh, reserve coagulating polymer similar to that used by support ships. When selected, it will drain your ship's weapon energy and gradually scab over damaged armor, repairing your fighter. I haven't used either of those yet. <sighs> Priority communique from Cassandra. Current estimate 19 plus or minus 5 days until steel attacks her. Continue. Let it be known in the log. At 1445 ship's time, the pilots of Pakuna link to the Praxis review of their tactical orders. Pilot suggestions were implemented as noted in the log. If there are no further remarks from operators or the coordinators, I will proceed with the final briefing. Let the voice print confirm that I am Analyst Thorne and that I am under no duress or coercion. Admiral Steele's final attack on Earth is imminent. The Council of Elders has authorized unlimited autonomous operations to buy time for the implementation of an utterly classified end state contingency. Our strategic objectives are to hamper GTDA buildup and lay the groundwork for a plan to destroy the alliance between Admiral Steele's SOC operatives and the guy in effort, Costadin. Costadin cell. Our tactical objective is a Vesudan convoy. Bellwether 412. Our Hammer of Light contacts has passed us the convoy's jump schedule. Emperor Konzu's military continues to provide Admiral Steele with logistical support. Fleet assets cannot attack this convoy without drawing the Vizudans further into the war. The convoy carries Terran aircrew fresh from the Step Flight School as well as veteran warship officers returning from training rotations. Eliminating these targets will strike a major blow to enemy morale and offensive readiness. The convoy will enter Sol System at 22.15 tonight. Current orbital patterns make direct jump from the node to Artemis Station impossible. The convoy will instead jump to a safe point south of the ecliptic plane where it will recharge for 9 minutes. This will be the killing field. Bellwether 412 is lightly escorted. The students hope to keep their military commitment in Seoul minimal, but they do fear GEF attack. The Tabia AWACS carries the ninth protocol. This allows the convoy ships to network their weapons into a formidable defensive grid. The Tabia can also detect our Anseri punch Anseri. Punch transmissions through the jamming that we will use to block distress signals and jam the seeker heads of most GEF anti-warship weapons. The Tabi is our first target. We will expend human assets to destroy it. We maintain a stock of captured Gaia and Effort pilots, including several from the cost of Titan cell. Several of these pilots have agreed to assist in our attack in exchange for their freedom. Deploy the pilots of Kukri Wing to destroy the Tabia. Their ejection seats thrusters have been replaced with high yield explosives to ensure their compliance. Their Warhammer torpedoes carry top of the line home on jam seekers to defeat the Tabia's ECM. Once their job is done, we suggest detonating the charges to sanitize these assets. It's critical that some guy in effort fighter debris be, be discovered on the scene. The Vizuan convoy will detect the scimitars of Kukri Wing and report a small guy in effort attack. This will be the last transmission the convoy ever sends. Once the AWACS is destroyed, Midwinter 5 1 will jam all for the transmissions. Your stealth fighters will have free reign. Kill everything, allow Nova Student ships to escape. For our Rusa work, Steel must believe the convoy was destroyed by his own cost of incel. Midwinter, Midwinter 5 2 will provide escort to the ECM asset. If necessary, you can order to engage convoy elements. This Custos Patrol combat variant carries light antimatter munitions and fighter grade mass drivers. If our guy in effort assets fail, there is an alternative. The Hammer of Light have supplied us with a potent military virus designed to cripple Vizun tactical systems. You can approach the Tabia alone and upload this virus, crashing convoy battle map. Upload the virus by scanning the target vessel. The Tabia is not the only possible target. The virus will also disable the magnetic bottles of the cruiser's beam and pulse weapons, taking them offline. Scan the Vizun cruisers to disable their heavy weapons. That's bullshit, because the second you get close to the Tabia, you are detected. Don't do this. The virus has one last cr crucial role to play. We will use the Vasoon gas miners as improvised bombs. By infecting the Chi Wing gas miners with the virus, you can disable their onboard safeties, allowing volatile gases to mix and converting them into makeshift foreheads. Scanning and and knock it will prime it to detonate, destroy it with weapons fire to trigger the blast. Try to scan all four miners before you detonate any of them. Once you trigger a detonation, the Vasoons will realize their miners are dangerous, they'll break formation and scatter. Isolated, they should be easy targets, but don't let them scatter too far. Also, a bullshit objective. Do not prime these things, at least not yet, and don't destroy them. 
The problem is they scatter, they'll go four to six kilometers in three different directions. And your ships are fast, but they're not that fast. Keep those guys alive till the end. By destroying this convoy, we'll slow steel spilled up by framing the cost of itself for the attack. We avoid Vasun recriminization and lead Admiral Steel to believe his own guy and effort allies are playing both sides of the war, plundering Vasun convoys for their own benefit. Operators, you now have tactical autonomy. Prepare to launch in five minutes. Al Dawa will be supervising this operation via secure comm, but Midwinter 5 1 will be the tactical command vessel. Operational review Destroy the Tabia with. Kukuri wing or sneak in alone and scan it. Will not work. Infect all four gas miners by scanning them and detonating them using your guns or your wingman. Don't do that. Destroy the asset destroy their assets first. The transports, freighters, etc. Then when the transports and freighters are destroyed, destroy the gas miners. Midwinter 5-2 is available to provide heavy fire support on your ship's order menu. Use Midwinter 5-2 to fight the cruisers. Scan the cruisers so that you don't lose Midwinter 5-2. Don't have a choice. We're using the Anseri. As for the weapons loadout, um, I didn't change it. The City is a shotgun. Short range. Looks cool. Nice damage. And the UX Accelerator is a burst weapon. I don't like it, if I gotta be honest. I didn't use the ammo pack. And I didn't use the repair system. Probably, honestly, should use them on some missions in the future. It will make a difference. And that's it. Time to cut back to past me, who's pissed off at this mission because... I only succeeded in it once, and then I failed it at the very end through some bullshit means, and then I just kept failing it. I can't. I've done this mission once successfully. Every other time I've failed. I've screwed up. So the plan is to send the hostages after the AWACS, and then I sneak around from behind, and I start shooting them up from behind. Then I'm gonna take the cruiser, and I always sent the cruiser to back with us, but I'm wondering if it'd be better if the, the cruiser engages at the front. We'll see. Full power to the engines. Valkra, form up on me. Kukuriring, destroy. Seventeen hundred meters is the magical number, but you're gonna want to give yourself a bit more leeway than that in case your wingmen decide to be idiots. One kilometer should be sufficient. Form up on me. Oh my god, alright, fine. Cover me. They don't do form up on me, that's delightful. God damn it. Awax is down. Alright. Yeah, it's not preserving you, friend. I am blowing you up because you're a prick. And you were never gonna live anyway. If I gotta be honest. Alright, viral strike on this guy right here. Alright, 
get to the back. And you always lose one. God, why can I not scan this thing? Alright, cool. One viral scan. That's two viral scan. Oops. Is your lead indicator, man? Scan. Target, all right. Yeah, I'm not worried about the gas miners. To be honest, let's just back off and see what the convoy is looking like. All right. Who's right here? You are right here. Too, not worry about that meant to. Is that it? Okay. There's one. Oh, right.
two minutes kill jump. Yep, if the Sheevans had uh, Terran fighters, yep, there would be Sheevans on the scene. Bank one low. Alright. That's done. Cover me. Ah, uh, shut up, Laporte. Kovacs has a good point. Rally wing at observation point. I hope you guys are going to keep your distance. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm sorry I wasn't talking that too much that time. Finally got that mission right. <sighs> so, yeah, use the hostages to take out the AWACS come from behind manage your wingmen manage your cr manage your cruiser they kind of systematically blow everything up I find you shouldn't destroy the uh guys.
I really like it, the attention to detail. Like, these guys are talking like old, good old Free Space 2 GTVA pilots. So, you know, let's get out of here. Before the Auroras catch on to what we did. Yes! I did that mission on hard. Saw the observation. Oh, finally. Cassandra projections and coordinator analysis the outcome concur that this mission was quite a qualified success. It was a qualified success. Hammer Flight's horses within the Alliance confirmed the convoy's last received transmission was their contact report with the guy in effort forces. Admiral Rakami is convinced that the guy in effort overwhelmed Bellwether 412 and he is furious with the deal for supply and faulty intelligence indicating that the guests were not a major threat. Terran Vasun relations have been weak for several years now and the two militaries are largely seg Surrogated and mutually distressful, this should help further drive a wedge between them. Admiral Steele's SOC advisors are beyond H HL penetration, but all signs suggest that they have concluded that Costa Din Cell is attempting to play both sides of the war for mutual advantage. We believe that Special Operations Command will withdraw support of the Costa Din Cell and may even move against it in retaliation of this attack. We destroyed the frigate's Rudman Beta Wing. This was an act of fratricide. Fratricide? Wow! Didn't know that was a word. <laughs> a tragedy, but also perplexed for student investigators who have correctly concluded that Federation pilots died attempting to protect the convoy from Gap attack. Remember, we took from them and what it earned. My ass personnel, Sender Vidora, you did well, port. On that much, Kovax, Felker, and I agree, and we agree on very little. Welcome. Recommendations. Personal log. Nomi Laporte killed three Federation pilots. Was it necessary? Yes. Al Dawa seemed to think it was worth it to make the Vasoons think the UF was trying to help them out. Vasoons respond well to honorable deaths. He's got all those analysts and that mystery supercomputer Cassandra to back him up. Maybe I should just not question, except it's right, even if it feels wrong. But that's not what he wants, is it? He wants skeptical skeptical atrocities he want us to question our own horrors and yet enact them without hesitation it's like ubuntu from hell yeah i'm not so sure about this guy 